Hello and welcome to yet another one of my videos and uh, this one is about the Denon DCD3000 we have, which I have just acquired. Um, it came with a full description that it um, the drawer comes in and out which all the regular readers will know what the reason for that is. It's obviously a limit switch that doesn't work and also that it doesn't read CDs in a garage, but it does read them in the home. So, um, well, not in my garage where I fix CD players, it reads CDs all right. But as you see, there is no output from it. So, um, I looked up um, the diagram and found out that for muting, the relay is responsible, and the only relay here is the 301, the blue one, Takamisawa. Have a look at this. All I needed to do is move that cable, and the, um, and the player springs to action. So it's either a crimp on one of those cables, it hasn't been any good from the assembly at the factory or there is a bad connection you know like some of the flux on on uh, pins or there is a crack on that board so I'll, I'll uh, open it up and um, and make sure that there is no um, you know bad joints there um, what can I say about this player on one hand, it is not as lavish as uh, some of the Sony's, but on the other, you know, like you have on the one transformer, which is not big, and, and that's perfectly adequate for CD player only uses like 30 or 40 watts of power. You can see only four regulators there. But uh, the reason I got it is uh, that it has three very useful features. One of them is those duct chips. There is four PCM1702, and these are laser trim resistor ladder ducts. My absolute favorites, those and 1704s, which are 24-bit, and these are only 20-bit. So that, that already is good. The second reason is, let me show you, I have a, a CD player there running that this unit has it has a input for external sources shows you now that it's 44 kilohertz and we are listening to the other CD player via its uh, input so then it can go to Toslink and then a normal CD player so it's uh, it's very neat not many CD players actually have those inputs and so you can use it as a DAC. And finally, and finally, last but not least, it has a balanced output. So um, it is really fully featured player and um, you know it, it, it looks good. Uh, the, the laser is uh, KSS 240A which I suppose is not in the same class as um, the two of the best ones, KSS 190 and 151, or maybe even the um, fixed pickup units like um, 271, 272, 273, 274, I think even. But it's good enough from, from the, the, the plethora of um, Sony pickups, this is uh, the good one from the cheap ones. This thing comes with a huge piece of metal, very heavy, which says high speed access in superior tracing ability, which sits on top of there, which I removed because I wanted to see what's going on with the actual um, um, mechanism, you know, what's going on, and I'll have to remove it to replace the um, um, clean the limit switch and replace the belt. Uh, sort of the tray sort of goes a bit slow. So, um, 
When I measured the laser output power, it was on a um, um, 0.06 of a milliwatt. So um, normally they are around um, 0.1 of a milliwatt. So this is just over 50% of a standard output. So obviously it does have um, superior reading ability. I might crank it just a bit um, because on occasion what I've noticed is that it doesn't start as if it didn't get the reflection. Once it gets a reflection everything works fine. And um, this is I can show you now uh, how the tray behaves. And obviously the limit switch that tells the server that the um, tray is fully extended is, is dirty. So that needs attention but you know, overall, um, it will take a few hours to, to do that kind of service, but it's it's in, in exceptionally uh, good condition. So, um, here is some kind of after, I thought it was after market board, but it's just a Denon on it, so, so obviously it is not. All the capacitors are Elna Silmic. When I say all, all but those two, which appear to be... Um, Oh, I forgot to, if it's. It, I think it's Nippon Chemicon. Um, so um, yeah, it's a it's a very very nice player, and um, once I fix it, you know, I, I I'll put it up for sale. But it's a unique as far as having balanced output, good chips, and an input.